I wanted to do a quick update. Um, it's been a little while since I've done one. Uh, what's gone on? I went to uh, Mexico for Parapan Am Games, uh, and I was there from the 7th to the 21st. I spent my birthday actually flying home. We had some stuff happen on the way there, you know, uh, just to make it for a long trip. <laughs> and, um, yeah, that's that. I, uh, ended up with a fourth place finish in my 100 meter final. It wasn't what I wanted, but again, I have to look at the positives and see that, like, I wasn't second for a majority of it. And at 70 meters, my shoulder gave out. I now have a shoulder injury. I have a pinched and swollen rotator cuff. So physio starts on Friday, or at least the assessment, and we go from there. But I have to admit, I've been pretty frustrated. I I'm not able to do as much as I normally am. And it's not even my good arm. But, um, just, you know, I've been pretty dragged down, like, I know a few people know about this, but we I had some a comment by one of the other athletes, not on our provincial, on our national team, but our provincial, about how it, you know I got fourth, and I, you know I I'm they're used to seeing me medal, and it was just some negative comments that really dragged me down, and it started to make me wonder like what I was doing. And my, you know, especially now because I, I've been racing so long and, you know, it makes me, negative comments like that make me just kind of think like, I know, I know they're just saying, oh, you know, it must be frustrating to, to, to be in a situation where you're not used to, but it was really negative and this person has since been knocked out of my life, but it's just, it just made me question stuff and kind of question my strength. But then, I look at all the support I have from other people. And the fact that, you know, they really do support me. And especially with that, and plus my injury too. Like, they've been really supportive. But... I have to say, I, I mean, I've been really, really down, and I'm not used to that, like, I just don't like sitting here wondering, like, am I still strong enough to do all this stuff again, to get myself in this situation? You know, there was nothing I could have done to prevent that injury, but, and I've been told that, but. And the fourth place finish is re really respectable. But I still wondered, like, what if, like, what if uh, it went differently, or what could I have done differently? And then, like, you know, and our coaches have been nothing but supportive. Uh, and they, they listen when you have these, these thoughts and things like that but I just my positive mindset like I mean I'm a positive person but it's still there but I just I get these moments now like just not being able to do much and you know now it does remind me of the fact that I have to really, I get these moments now where it's like well Hello, you're disabled, you know, and then I'm used to being so independent and being able to just like wheel all over the place and I can't right now until this is under control and I just want to get back to my normal life. I feel lazy and I don't like it. I try to keep myself busy. I have a speech tomorrow for Rick Hansen. Which I'm looking forward to, but I'm nervous for that as well. And... I gosh, I just hope it goes well. Call me stupid, but I mean, like, 
I just wish things were different. But I know they will be, and I have to keep a positive attitude. It's just wearing really thin. And people with negative comments for me or other people, you got you need to realize that there are better things in life and you need to, you know, if you're not happy in your life, you need to back off of other people. People that are happy in their life or people that are doing something good in the world. Not just me, I mean for other people as well. But these negative people, like, you just gotta grow up. It's, it doesn't take much. Grow up. And I'm sorry this kind of turned into a rant, but, like, it just frustrates the crap out of me and and you know I, I'm better than that I'm stronger than how I feel right now so you know I, I'm just have to change my mindset and get get into a positive way of thinking and I have been but it's hard like I just have a hard time but I want to thank everybody for the support. I really appreciate it. And um, I'll talk to you all later. Okay, I love you. Bye.